first about the future of anthropology. Uh, there are a lot of talks about the crisis of anthropology. If it's in crisis, then we cannot have a bright future. But basically, I'm optimistic, particularly because anthropology has always been in crisis in the past, perhaps from the beginning, as far as the identity of anthropology is concerned. Anthropology has been a diverse, dispersive science with blurred and ambiguous boundaries. And we are not sure if it's a science or even discipline at all. I think it will be good. I think it will be like this all the way, and it should or must be this way. Because we study human existence and human experience, well, our inquiry cannot be straightforward without complexities, complications, contradictions, without flexibility or fluidity. If we encounter a very neatly theorized approach, a very definitely conclusive result, a very mechanically organized proposal, or very structural causality, we, at least I, tend to doubt it because we are dealing with humans. We anthropologists have various views, different objectives, conflicting interests, and diverse values. And we are not in agreement, and I think it's good. It's good because diversity is power, and it's an indication of resources and the possibilities. We anthropologists have always been interested in diversity, and the future of anthropology lies in its diversity. As, as for the future with anthropologies, I don't know. I myself said the theme of this conference, which is the future with of anthropologies, but I don't know what sort of future we can expect with anthropology. And again, it's good, I think, that I don't know, because the kind of future which is already knowable is rather uninteresting. It will not be too good to know it beforehand. I mean, knowing it is too limiting it. Without knowing it, we tend to have infinite possibilities. The whole point of convening this conference in May is to discuss these unseen and unforeseen possibilities. I just sense that anthropology's relevance is growing now, and it will be more so in the future. I say I don't know what to expect with anthropology, but I know how to increase the relevance and possibility of anthropology, strengthen it, and make the future with anthropology better. The future undoubtedly depends on the development of networks, networks of individual scholars, and the networks of associations. I said diversity is power, but diverse anthropologies must be connected and united. Unification of diversity or united diversity is something contradictory, but I believe that this is what we need most for the future with anthropologies. 
this kind of unified diversity has started with the foundation of WCAA. It will develop further by the cooperation with IUAES. And here lies the hope for the future with anthropologists.